everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a birch box unboxing and I've got the August box today. Um, this is the beauty junkie box and it's all decorated with like beauty emojis and stuff like that. So I'm going to open the box. The first thing I've got are some little stickers with all little emojis on. These are really really cute. Um, I really like stickers, I sort of never grew out with them. So I like these. Um, they're just really really cute. Loads of like little beauty products and hearts diamonds, little scissors and buttons, nail polish, all kinds of things like that. So they're a little fun extra. Then you get the um, booklet telling you about the products and this one is themed like an iPhone with like little emojis on which is really cute. And then you get the bag itself with the products in. This one month has got pink. These bags are really handy for storage. Um, although last month's Birchbox came in a really really cool sort of makeup bag which I really really liked. Um, sadly they've not continued that, I hope they do that again in the future because they're really really nice. So I'm just going to go through the products, I've not tried anything yet because this is an unboxing video. So um, keep an eye on my blog which is linked in the description box below if you want to see like reviews of these or anything like that. So I'll get into the products. The first one is this one and it's the Formula 10.0.6 Overnight Success, Overnight Spots, Minimising Patches tea tree and grape seeds. So these are little patches that you stick on any spots or blemishes and supposedly overnight it's supposed to get rid of them. These seem like a really really cool idea so um, next time I get a spot I will be trying these. The next product is from Rituals and this is the Fortune Scrub and this is the scent Sweet Orange and Cedar Invigorating Body Scrub. Mmm that smells really really nice very fresh scent, kind of spicy as well which I really really like. Um, it is summer at the moment in England but it's definitely fast approaching autumn. And that, that scent smells quite any time of year to me, it's quite summery but it's also quite Christmassy weirdly at the same time. Uh, I think it must be the seed, it must be the spice but that seems really really good and I've heard really good stuff about the ritual scrubs although I've never tried one so I'm excited to try that. Next is a clarifying shampoo from Hebelo I think the brand is and this is a deep cleanse and rejuvenate shampoo the ultimate deep tox um, so you use this once to twice a month on wet hair I don't really have a clarifying um, shampoo um, I generally just use like a purple shampoo to keep the ashiness in my hair so I'm looking forward to trying this I have used clarifying sheet of shampoos before but it doesn't have much of a scent kind of a, just like a fresh scent, it's not very scented, so if you don't like scented products this may be good for you. Um, I would give it a go and see what I think. Um, my hair does tend to get quite a lot of build up in it because I use way too much dry shampoo, <laughs> but um, yes yeah, so I'm excited to try that. Next thing is from Hugens, I think this brand is, Paris, and this is a facial exfoliator. The pot is really really vintage, this is a facial exfoliator. That smells quite nice actually, it just looks like it's got little bits in. Obviously I haven't tried it yet so I can't tell you but it looks quite thick and quite creamy which looks like it might be good. Um, so I'll give that a go and let you know. And lastly I've got two makeup items. The first one is in this really really small package and it's from The Balm. I've had quite a few Balm samples in Birchbox and they always come in these really really cute little packages. And I've really liked the other ones that I've had. This is Bronzer Blush, it says Balm Desert. And the shade I got is Take a Dip, which is obviously a bronzer. Um, obviously this is tiny, so I, I will be using this as an eyeshadow. Um, but it looks a really, really nice sort of warm brown colour with a little hint of shimmer. It looks a really, really nice colour. And these are really, really good to put in your makeup bag or for travelling and things like that because they are so small. Um, you could depot them into a palette if you wanted, but I, I like the little dinky packaging. So that's that. And second makeup product is from Lord and & Berry and this is blush and I got the shade 8214 Lotus and this looks like a really really beautiful dark matte pink shade um, this is in like a little pan and I don't have a palette so I think I'm going to have to get a palette to put um, this in because I've got another one from an, a previous birch box as well this looks a really really nice colour it looks like a MAC one that I've seen quite a lot of people use um, I can't remember the name but it looks really really nice and I don't have anything this shade so that's good. 
So that's everything that was in my birch box this month. Um, I really, really love birch box. Uh, I said it before. Um, I just think it's just nice to get a little box of samples every month, and they're always stuff I actually use. You never get like loads of things you don't use, or things that you don't really wouldn't buy, uh, which is why I like birch box. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!